Hello, it's me, and today we'll look a bit into the DU command. DU stands for device usage, or disk usage actually. And let's start already by investigating into .var folder, that is known for keeping our flat packs. Without any parameter it will start listing recursively every file, together with their size. So next we could say DU again, but with H for human read style and S for summarize. Now it will just print the total, 127 gigs. Let's see more. DU and H again. But now we'll give it a depth. A depth of 3 more specifically, to see every flat pack app root folder. Wait! We can improve that a bit. We can pipe this to the sort command. So it will print from smaller to larger. So from the 120, 80 of them are basically virtual boxes. Anyway, that's pretty much the DU. Next we'll look into NCDU, that is something like the NCURSES version of DU. NCDU then, without parameters apart the .var folder. Okay. That looks a bit fancy I must confess. And it is interactive too. So we can navigate inside the directories with arrows, and see the disk space and all those. The experience is pretty much like a terminal based file manager. But enough with that, because we have one more tool that uses a graphical UI. So next is the desk cargo, that is the newest of three. Obviously. And similarly to NCDU, we'll run it without any parameters in the var folder. First off, I think this is the fastest of all, and also it has the best visual representation of three. It even printed the virtual boxes, perhaps because they were the biggest files? And perhaps, at least some of you, see everything cool and wondering what's the problem? Well? The problem is that all those suck, and they suck bad. But it sucks even more the fact that we are stacked with them. Because in every actuality, when we really want to know what's happening to our disk, we need the best visualization possible, and that a CLI program can never give. But GNOME disks can't give either, because it is terribly slow, and not to mention it lacks all the basics like discovering app sizes or cache disk usage. And next you go to Flathub, only for discovering it slowly turns into an Android store, but without the games. Seriously now? Who takes breaks when coding? So what if you start developing apps that put some real value to GNOME Desktop, like the most perfect disk analyzer ever made?